Balwantrao Raghav alias Balasaheb Deshmukh was one of the political leaders who become famous not only in Chandrapur but also in whole Viterbha by his imbibed qualities and devotion. Thereafter he shifted to Nagpur for his high school and his college education. The then British government offered him a post of a judge, however he refused to accept the same and started legal profession on October 29, 1900 at Chandrapur and became famous as a renowned lawyer of Vidarbha and Maharashtra. Balwantrao never intended to be a professional lawyer only and hence he entered the Indian independence movement and became active in the politics. He imbibed the aspiration of freedom in the minds of the people and awoke them to fight against the British Raj. He accepted the leadership of Lkmanya Bal Gangadhar Tilak and admired him to be his political leader and guru. He propagated the ideology of Lkmanya Tilak and called on the people to accept his principles of Swadeshi, Bikat, Swarajya and national education. In 1906 he attended the annual session of Indian National Congress held under the presidentship of the then political leader Shri. He also used to observe the Ganesh Jayanti and Chhatrapati Shivahi Maharaj Jayanti in order to assemble the people and propagate the idea of independence among the people. Lukmanaya Tilak had visited Chandrapur for attending the providential sessions of his Swaraj party in 1918. After his heroic welcome by the people, Balwantrao gave a dinner in honor of Lukmana Tilak and other political leaders viz. Asahave Kaparde, Nikol Hantrao Kadilkar and N. H. Kelkar and others, who came to attain the provincial session at Chandrapur. The session lasted for three days and during this period Chandrapur became the center place of the whole province in respect of the political activities. Prior to that, after his release from Mandale prison in 1914, Lukmanyatiluk formed his Swaraj party and held its session at Belgeon, which was also attended among the other prominent leaders including Balwantrao Deshmuk, who was then considered to be a very close and faithful associate of Lukmanyatiluk. In 1919 when Lukmanyatiluk left Mumbai for his tour to England, Balwantrao Deshmuk was one of those ten leaders who were given a permission to see off Balwantrao at the deck of the ship which was bound for a voyage to London. In the year 1917, Dr. Annie Besant started the Home Rule League movement in India. Balwantro actively supported this movement and propagated the ideology of this movement in Chandrapur and Vidarbha. After the sad demise of Lkmanyatilak, Mahatma Gandhi took the political charge of the freedom movement and unanimously decided to launch the non-cooperative movement in India against British rule. Balwantro Deshmukh supported the same and along with some other lawyers of Chandrapur, boycotted the court for about one year. During his tenure he held four sessions of providential committee at distinct places. Mahatma Gandhi attended one such sessions held under the presidency of Balawantro Deshmukh. During the period 1919-1923 Balwantro Deshmukh was a member of All India Congress Committee. In 1921 he was elected as a member of the Provincial Assembly and thus worked as M.L.A. He was a very clever and famous lawyer in whole of Maharashtra for conducting criminal cases. Because of his efforts the political leaders like Pandit Motilal Nehru, Bipar Manandanji, Sir Teg Bahadur Sapruag, V. D. Sawarkar, Kane Alala Munshi, B. R. Nirmal Chandra Chaturji, Dr. Narang, Dharmavar Bhopatkar, Pandit Ravi Shankar Shukla, B. R. In the year 1942 during the Quit India movement the people of Khymer Thasil Chandrapur assembled in front of police station Khymer under the leadership of Rashtra Sant Tukodaji Maharaj. They arrested many people under the charges of unlawful assembly, arson, and decoity. Balwantrao arranged to defend all the political accused and further arranged for the residence of the relatives of the accused during their trial in the court by erecting a pendal in front of his house and made necessary arrangements of their residence and food. Till then the India got independence and hence all the accused being political prenors were pardoned. Balawantrao Deshmukh founded Lakmanyatiluk's Marak Mandal at Chandrapur and got constructed the building of Lakmanyatiluk Vidyalaya which is considered to be a monument of Lkmanyatiluk in Chandrapur. In the year 1956 he formed a local committee for awakening the people and giving active support to the Goa freedom movement. Four youth from Chandrapur decided to take part in the freedom struggle of Goa. 
One of the youth namely Babarau Thorat was assassinated by Portuguese soldiers as they tried to enter the territory. Balwantro caused to bring the Esthikalash of Babarau Thorat to Chandrapur and respectfully got those buried in Malana Azad garden of Chandrapur and erected a stam over the same. Prior to that in the year 1937 the then Mansipal Committee honoured Balwantro Deshmukh on his 60th birthday by giving him a testimonial. He never made any distinction between rich and poor educated and uneducated, touchable and untouchable, higher quality and lower quality and treated all the people equally. He was the president of Shokamela Hostel till his death, which was meant for the education of the youth from poor and downtrodden families. Because of his death the people thought as if they have lost their well-wisher and a near friend.